Hello and welcome back. This is Dave Briner from Synergist Technologies and uh, today uh, Fusion 360 quick tip uh, and today is going to be I guess my favorite Fusion feature to date. Uh, that is going to be the S key and uh, some some know this some uh, are totally unaware of it but uh, everything that we do we have to go to maybe one of the panels and pull downs and sit there and hunt and peck for uh, what we're looking for so if we end up using things over and over again uh, I can just select S and you're gonna see I get my model toolbox and this toolbox is contextual so dependent on what I am doing within the model at the time uh, these tools will change so let's um, I'm just gonna create a sketch and I'll put it up there and I'm gonna hit the S key again and you can see that my toolbox has changed now I have a sketch toolbox and uh, on here I end up having uh, some of my tools that I use from time to time and and right now I'll just uh, choose a center rectangle and I'll place it up there and I'm gonna select the S key again and I'll choose a dimension so here I'll just place and we'll put a dimension here fine so uh, I can completely constrain sketch so I'll stop it I will hit the S key again and I'll select my extrude so I'll go in there and we'll make it symmetric go through and we'll select my shape and I'll put in a distance beautiful so uh, now I want to add maybe a, a fillet so I'll select this edge and this edge and I'll place a 0.375 fillet So on this side, I'm going to place uh, a chamfer, but I don't have chamfer up here in my my favorites. So I'm just going to start typing C H, and you'll see that it's going to come up right away. And in order to add this to my favorites, all I need to do is hit this up arrow, and it'll place it in my toolbox. So now I can come in here and place my chamfers. Once again, um, I want to place a hole on this face, so I'll go here and, and as you can see, I do not have a hole command up there, and I'll just do the exact same thing. I'll tape, you know, just start H, and right there is my hole command, and yes, I will add that as a favorite, and I'll place it on the face, and I'll just drag it to where I want and I'll put a diameter of 0.5 through all and we'll say okay and uh, that's about as difficult as it is so I, the toolbox works really well I mean it's uh, a lot of things you can you can search for many different things uh, you can sweep um, uh, loft so there's a lot of commands they're all at your fingertips uh, a lot of features work features so it's easy to navigate and it saves you uh, a ton of time without having to go to each pull down every single time and and go through and and hunt for what you're looking for give it a try um, hope you like it and um, thanks for joining me till next time this is Dave Briner have a great day